રામાય રામ ભદ્રાય રામચંદ્રય વેદ શ્રી રઘુનાથ હય ન થાય સીતાય પતિ નમ વિદ કાંડ ચેપ્ટર નંબર ફિફ્ટી ટુ ધ ડેથ ઓફ ધૂમ રક્ષા ધ રેસિટેશન બિગિન્સ ન seeing dhumraksha of terrible prowess marching forth to battle accompanied by his rakshasas the monkey warriors shouted in joy eager for the prey then a dreadful battle ensued between the monkeys and the rakshasas the rakshasas were hit with trees mountain peaks and blocks of stone on the other hand the monkeys were struck with tridents swords hatchets and arrows Countess Rakshasa slew the monkeys with keen arrows carrying eagle feathers with maces bars and other weapons riddled with shafts cloven with tridents monkeys were enraged and without the least fear performed wondrous deeds of valor with trees and stones for weapons shouting their names and deeds of fame they sprang on the rakshasas dragged them down and roared like lions Some rakshasas were ground to dust by trees and mountain peaks some vomited blood some lay with torn flanks some crushed by huge slabs some were bit to shreds banners and flags broken to pieces wheels shattered axes cloven and the yoked mules killed the cars were strewn over the ground elephants of mountainous bulk Rakshas the heroes like elephants in their madness huge mountain tops pushed by the monkeys heaps of dead horses elephant drivers with headless trunk and horsemen hit the battlefield from view the monkey heroes of dreadful valor leapt upon the rakshasas and tore at their faces most frightfully and those rangers of the night worn of face and with disheveled hair fainted away on earth unable to stand the stench of blood some shouted dreadfully in their mad fury and struck at the monkeys with their hands hard as adamant in their turn the monkeys sprang at them with agility and slew the rakshasas with fists feet teeth and trees unable to bear that onslaught the enemy began to flee in all directions at this dhumraksha the great hero was beside himself with rage and began to slay innumerable monkeys some ground down by huge spears vomited blood some were hit by iron bars and lay stretched on the ground some had their limbs broken by whirl sticks some were struck by smooth headed rods and lay dead their senses in a whirl some were pierced with tridents some were hit by the rakshasas and driven from the field some lay with hearts cloven some lay with their bowels protruding thus did the combatants on both sides fight most fearfully that dreadful sound intensified by the noise of falling mountains and trees made the hearts of all beings quake in terror in that battle the bows took the place of the veena the bow strings were the wires stretched upon it the spasmodic hiccup of the wounded men kept time the song was but the dying whispers of spent men such was the music of battle dhumraksha bent his bow struck the monkeys with arrowy showers scattered them all around and laughed at them seeing the monkeys so confused and staggering to and fro anjaneer ran forth quickly with a huge boulder in his hands valiant as god vayu himself his eyes a fire with anger he threw the boulder on the car of dhumraksha seeing this the rakshasa jumped out of the car mace in hand and the stones smashed the car the horses the banners the bow the weapons and the driver Maruti with uprooted trees struck down the rakshasa in crowds he caused a stream of blood to roll over the field as he brought down the rakshasas with broken heads and limbs he made the rakshasa forces disappear from the battle ground next he ran towards dhumraksha with a mountain peak in hand thereupon the rakshasa whirled aloft his mace bristling with iron spikes and sprang at maruti whom he struck on the head with terrible wrath but hanuman endowed with matchless strength even like the lord vayu made light of it and struck straight at the head of dhumraksha with that huge block his limbs broken he fell like a lofty mountain crashing down and gave up life 
At the sight of the leader, thus done to death, the Rakshasas fled in terror and ran towards Lanka for refuge. And the monkeys chased them and slew many. Thus did Anjaneya slay Dhumraksha and his troops, causing the streams of blood to course over the ground. Though tired, he was glad at the slaughter of his enemies. The monkeys lauded and praised the hero. The death of Dhumraksha falls on the second day of the fortnight. Mangalam Koshlindraya Mahaniya Gunapti Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaya Mangalam